The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Asmodee. Hello and welcome to another special unboxing episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad, and today I'm going to be unboxing Dice Forge from Libelund. Now this is a game where we're going to be uh, crafting our own dice. We're going to roll the dice, and those are going to give us resources like gold or moon or sun shards or even victory points. And that's going to allow us to go on quests to kind of get cards. It's going to allow us to do different things. We're going to be able to buy different die spaces to put on the die in order to get better resources or even maybe a little, uh, you know, take that against your other opponents. So let's open this up and see what kind of uh, dice foraging we can really do. In the intro, I said we get to go on quests. We're actually going and doing feats, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Let's look at the box here first, see what the back side looks like. Looks like an awesome looking game. Alrighty. I see the little dude there on the, uh, on the crystal. Whoa, looks like we got a special card. Turn it right side up. 27 victory points. I'm not really sure what it is. So we have our hero aid here. This is like uh, our reference. It's probably all the different cards and what they actually do. And then we have our rules, storage, and setup. Wow, you can see uh, this really goes together a certain way. Oh, it folds out this way. Okay. Okay, we have our player boards. So we got green and orange, and looks like there's a couple in there. Let me go ahead and open that up. Take a look and see what the other ones are. Okay, better look at those. Looks like this is the uh, the extenders that we can get. And here's our other ones. Here we have yellow and blue so we have blue and green the genders are just switched so Megan can be a guy and I can be a girl I guess okay let's see this is fancy little uh, wrap there and let's see oh, this is a sleeve that's what it is This is very nice. And we have the board. We're gonna fold out, and then we have notches where the cards are gonna go. So when we go on feats, we're gonna pay the cost. This is like a, a, a sun gem, and there's like a moon gem there. Looks pretty cool. deck of cards. I'll go ahead and open that up. Okay, just kind of go through the cards here real quick. These pigs kind of remind me of um, Angry Birds. And you're not going to be using all the cards, so you're going to have playability, uh, replayability, because uh, you're not going to know necessarily what cards you're going to have. And some cards you remove for different player counts. Okay, that was the first deck. Let's go ahead and open the second deck up. Okay. Let 
artwork it looks pretty cool a lot of cards that are identical here We have all these different uh, dice faces we're going to use, and you can see they look just like the back of Legos, even though I probably can't really say Legos because they're probably copyrighted, I'm sure, by a Lego company. We have our little dudes. These are plastic, but like I said, we have blue and green, so we're good as far as our colors go. These are the tracking gems for our player board, so I'll go ahead and open those up. Nice little plastic cubes. And then here are the dice. I'll go ahead and open those up. There you can see the dice. Now I have noticed right away that there is a darker die and there is a lighter colored die. The game is for four players, so there's four of each of those different colored die there. And those look like they go right in these slots here in the insert. Flip that around so you can see the inside of there. It says Dice Forge. And it looks like our player guys go right here. And possibly the deck of cards. And I'm sure there's a way to sort them out. Oh. And I didn't show you the back of the cards, so let me do that right now. I think these guys are called the Masters. But really cool artwork on these. Look at Thundercats. Let's show the back of these since I didn't do that either. These cards, did they get flipped? No, they're just, those are different uh, type of cards. I think those are our forging cards. Let's see if I got these the right way. Nope. Hopefully this right way. I'm looking at my cards in a dyslexic manner here. Okay. So I've watched um, the Gray Elephant playthrough, and when I was looking at or watching theirs, I noticed that um, this board fit in just like this. So you're actually using the box uh, when you're playing. And then you have the, the other game board below that. So that is really cool that they've got this set up, that that fits in just like that. Uh, and you'll be putting these dice faces in uh, these different slots depending on the number of players. Uh, plus he also, Tim Norris also came up with like an epic way to play. All right, you didn't think I was gonna go off and not show you the, uh, the actual dice faces, did you? So let's just dump these out here in my hand. Show all these different kinds here. Oops, there's so many that they are just falling. So I'm just gonna throw some down here on the table. In fact, let's just go ahead and uh, flip a lot of these over so you can actually see these. Let's move the camera down and kind of uh, 
zoom in really good so you can see these. So you see, here's where you're going to be getting your gold. You've got these special ones here where you're going to be getting uh, either gold or looks like victory points. You've got straight victory point ones there. You've got the, the moon shards or moonstones or whatever they're called there. And here are the sun ones there, the red ones. But yeah, all different kinds. Uh, you know, some that are dual purposes. Some have pig faces on them. But these look really cool. In fact, let's just go ahead and grab a die here. And so you can see that this just pops together. Just like that. And then you're going to just roll the die after you get all those on there. And whatever number comes up, that's the resources you're going to get. The instruction booklet kind of tells you how everything goes back into the box. Uh, and I'll show you the little diagram that it has there. But um, you can see it has you separate the cards out based on their uh, cost and type. You've got your spots for your dice. And it tells you how to set the dice up. The lighter color, you're going to put all one uh, gold and one of the sun shards on there. And then on the darker looking dice, you're actually going to put a two uh, victory points and a one moon shard on there. So you can see everything kind of has its own place in here. You get your uh, player markers down there, you get your 100 point uh, tokens there, you get your cubes aligned, and then your player boards. I'm not really sure what the, uh, what the well would be for, but you've got your player boards that go right there that hold your cubes in. Your die spaces actually go back onto the uh, the temple and it goes back into the sleeve and it comes with this nice little band to kind of keep that all together. But then you'll put your player board in there. You'll put this board in and you'll see that it is still nice and flush. Put the rules back in. Close the box up and you're all done. So that is Dice Forge and we will catch you guys next time. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.